We begin with the latest moves from China over the planned deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD to South Korea. After banning travel agencies from selling tour packages to South Korea, Beijing has also blocked the agencies from granting South Korean from processing South Korean visas for travelers. For Lotte Group, the local retail giant that approved a land swap deal with the government for the deployment, China's unofficial campaign of retaliation is taking a heavy toll. For this and more on how South Korea plans to deal with the situation, here's our easy one. China's unofficial retaliation against South Korea for its decision to deploy the THAAD missile defense system is becoming more apparent. Industry insiders said on Sunday that the authorities have suspended business at a total of four Lotte Mart stores in the northeastern province of Liaoning and in the eastern cities of Hangzhou and Changzhou, supposedly because they violated fire regulations. The suspension is to last for a month, but with more inspections currently underway, there could be more suspensions. This is a new phenomenon, and many see it as China's way of punishing Lotte Group, which agreed last week to provide the land for the South Korean military to station the THAAD battery. As Lotte Group moved to confirm that the stores had been shut down, its executives held an emergency meeting on Sunday to come up with countermeasures, which includes seeking active help from the South Korean government to minimize the damage to Lotte and to many other South Korean companies in China. The South Korean government is also looking at its own ways to keep the diplomatic row from hurting businesses, especially when it comes to tourism. According to sources in China on Sunday, Chinese nationals can now directly apply for visas to travel to South Korea, whereas previously they had to go through designated travel agencies. As of last Friday, they can reportedly apply at the Korean embassy in Beijing, as well as all other Korean diplomatic missions and even non-consular government institutions. The Korean embassy in Beijing also said in a statement that rumors circulating online that South Korea has stopped granting visas to Chinese citizens are not true and that visas are being issued as normal. This comes after China's National Tourism Agency last week called on travel agencies across the country to stop selling all packages to Korea starting March 15th. But with more retaliation likely to come, the Korean embassy in Beijing on Friday set up a special task force to look after the interests of its citizens and businesses. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.